Hey everyone, welcome back. So in this Jira service management video, I'm going to cover about the communication preferences settings, how you can configure Slack, Microsoft Teams, etc. into the communication preferences. So within your incident, you can quickly or your team members can quickly go ahead and have a chat about the issue with the right stakeholder, right people within the Slack channel or they can set up the meetings in a Zoom or Teams. Now, connecting Microsoft Teams and a Zoom would be more of an admin task. So this is something which will be already done if you are working in a project, right? But I'll cover basically say for example, you're learning service management and you are a small organization and you have to basically set it up altogether. So let's quickly understand how you can set up the Slack channel first, right? So if you see that no workspace is connected, we'll simply go ahead and click on the details. We'll see the option to connect new workspace. I'll click on that and then you will see the option for the workspace, right? Now there is nothing at the moment because you haven't created any slack workspaces okay obviously so that's fine now in order to have this slack configured you need to have a slack account as well and within slack you can basically use slack for free up to some extent all right and we'll be able to see what what are the you know different levels of slack that you can basically go ahead and see uh, go ahead and use for free. so now if you if I simply go ahead and click so you'll see that creating a new site workspace connection right so usually your site admin will be able to do it but we are learning the whole Jira service management so let's see how we can create a new workspace okay slack workspace and then connect it right so the first thing is you need to have the site admin access okay so that you can go to the administrator level and you'll see the chat and video tools okay in the operations all right so we'll go to the administration here in the right hand side and you just simply click on the cogwheel scroll down and you'll go to the products okay so where you'll see manage your jira product settings and integrations and this is basically an integration with slack or teams right so we'll simply go there and if you scroll down you'll see the chat and video tools click on that and we'll get a slack right so now here we can go ahead and connect slack right so you'll see the connect option click on connect and as soon as you will connect you will see that it is it is getting uh, redirected and you will be asked to sign into your workspace if you already have if you do not have the workspace you simply go ahead and click on create new workspace as highlighted here okay so if you don't know your workspace url you can go find your workspaces okay but say for example you don't have the workspace you can simply click on create new workspace and then it you need to follow the whole process of creating the new workspace it's basically similar to what signing up is all about right so simply provide your email go ahead continue and it will guide you through the sign up process i'll i have already signed up for the slack okay so i'll go ahead and use the existing workspace that i have created okay so the existing workspace that i have created is rcvacademy.slack.com okay so I provided uh, the detail of the workspace, right? So I entered the workspace Slack URL. I'll continue and it will go ahead and then ask to sign into the RCV Academy. Okay, so I've signed up with Google. So I'll simply select the Google account and then select the account that I use to sign up for Slack. And then you will be redirected to the allow page where in Jira service management chat ops is requesting the permission to view the slack workspace right so to access a uh, slack workspace okay so you simply go ahead and see what all details are required basically what so if you want to go ahead and see uh, the details what access level it will be you go ahead and read everything together okay and uh, make sure that you understand uh, what will be shared across and then i'll go ahead and click on allow so as soon as i have allowed for that particular workspace you will see that this workspace rcv academy workspace is now available now within slack i can have different workspaces okay so so basically this is one of the workspace okay now if i go ahead and open slack all right so let me open slack so here you will see in the left hand side we have different channels right and the workspace is basically if we go back here in the profile okay and here I can go ahead and see that add workspaces, right? So I can sign into another workspace or create a new workspace. Okay. So I can say, okay, create a new workspace and then it will go ahead and you have to follow similar, you know, process, right? So here we can see that I have already the workspace RCV Academy. So we simply go ahead and you will see that 
we, we are connected here okay so this is the workspace and now if we go back okay now if we go back to the jira service tech project rcv it service management now because the connection is established okay between slack and jira all right so if we go back to the project settings and see incident management field for the chat so we have not connected any workspace in this particular project right so now we'll go ahead in the project okay we'll say connect a new workspace and if we scroll uh, click on the drop down now we'll see the rcv academy workspace available all right so this is the workspace that first the site admin will be configuring and then it will be available within your projects okay so now i'll go ahead and click on connect within the project where i want to use a workspace connected to the project and agents can start creating slack channels in this workspace you can connect a new one or remove it at any time right so basically now this workspace is connected now the agents will be able to create the channels right so what what are the channels so basically these are the channels so they can create a specific channel and discuss on that okay on that particular channel about the issues so now once it is connected how will it look so if we go back to the project and see one of the incident for example i see this rc ism1 if i minimize this and you will see the chat channel option is now available right so now i can go ahead and create a channel just out of here so i'll simply click on create channel and i'll you'll see that channel name automatically whatever the issue is it will be automatically hashtagged and appended uh, along with that i can basically update the channel name and the description right and then once i'm happy then we can basically go ahead and create right you have to select the workspace from the drop down so you'll see that i've selected this particular workspace i can change the channel name and then create the channel okay the description you can update the description here as, as well i have just kept as default and you can see the chat channel is created i can simply go ahead and click open okay and then open i think it didn't open so let's click on open yeah so it okay it is already open so it will let me refresh it here right so if i simply go ahead and close it so let me show you how it will okay so it looks like there is some issue with opening um try again okay so what we'll do is we'll open slack directly okay in case you are facing any issues like this you open directly the slack anyways and then we'll go ahead and okay so here if we see the channels right so the channel should be available here so we can basically go ahead and just say within the channel i'll say all add channel and then browse channel okay and then within the channels you'll see all the channels okay so you'll see all the channel and this is the channel that is basically available here okay so we can go ahead and see right and then can go ahead and join channel and discuss about this particular issue all right so this is how the configuration of the chat will be done into the jira service management it requires the site admin initially to set up the slack channel integration first and then within the project you can enable and create the chat channel around the major incident and have a conversation or your team member can have a conversation and get the issue or incident resolved in a timely manner so that's all for this video in the next video i'll explain how you can do the integration with microsoft teams as well. thanks for watching see you in the next lecture